Hey, what's up, soldiers? You need here, and welcome to Amazon FBA Bootcamp. Today, we're actually doing episode number two of our Road to Ten Thousand Dollar Challenge. Um, in this video, we're not going to go over much except for product research. Again, step one was product research. So in this video, I'm really going to show you guys how I choose to find my products. So there are a lot of different ways that you can do, or rather, go about finding, you know, a product. And, and I'll show you a lot of different methods, but the primary one that I like to use and the one that I that seems to find me the most products and the best products is the one that I'm going to show you right now. Um, the other ones we will go over just as a as a supplementary, you know, kind of if you can't seem to find a product the way I'm showing you now, there's always more ways to, you know, to find a product. So anyway, so the first the first couple things we're going to go over is you're going to need a couple uh, programs. So you're going to need Jungle Scout, which uh, for this video is absolutely necessary. That's the I mean, I in my, in my opinion, all you really need to, to start Amazon is uh, Jungle Scout. So you need the Jungle Scout web app. Uh, it's a one month. Uh, that's a month to month membership. So you can just get it for one month and then cancel it after one month, you know, because I think one month is more than enough to find a product. Um, you're also going to need the Jungle Scout Chrome extension, which is a one time payment. Uh, it's about 100, 100 for the regular uh, and, and 200 for the pro version. I currently have the pro version, as you can see over here. Uh, it does say Jungle Scout Pro extension, but uh, in my opinion, you don't really need um, the pro version if you don't want to spend that money. So uh, let me just go over. So the web app is pretty much what you're seeing right now on your screen. Uh, this is, I think, $29 a month. Again, you can cancel it after one month. So it's like a $29 uh, payment. And then after that, you can, you know, you'll definitely find a product in that time. And uh, the Jungle Scout Chrome extension, like I said, is $100. Um, the, the light version is, is more than enough for that. So let's get right into this video. Uh, today, you're going to see uh, how I'm doing my product research. Uh, pretty much when you get over here, there's going to be a lot of different, um, you know, it's kind of a little bit overwhelming when you get to the first page. Once you do get here, it is the product database. Once you click on that, you'll get to this page and uh, it's going to show you the marketplaces, the categories and all, and, you know, all these filters that you can use to find uh, a product. So uh, I say stick to uh, the US for your first product, unless you guys are thinking about doing, you know, if you live in the UK, maybe it's easier for you guys to start in the UK or Canada. You can start in Canada. You can pretty much start in any marketplace you want, but Obviously, the U.S. marketplace is the biggest marketplace and the one where there's the most shoppers and the you know so it's very integrated with the with society in in the U.S. Amazon is that is so um, for your categories. Okay, there are a lot of categories that that Amazon has. Um, the thing I would tell you to stay away from is the restricted categories. Um, so there there are there are actually restricted categories on Amazon where you can't really sell on them unless you've been pre-approved. So there's an approval process that you have to go through categories requiring approval. There we go. So these are all categories requiring approval, automotive and power sports, collectible books. You guys can, you know, go on this website and, and uh, see which ones you should stay away from because you just, you know, if you start buying products and then try to list them in a category where it's restricted, you can get in a lot of trouble or, or rather you won't even be able to sell in that category. And if you miscategorize them, then you'll get in a lot of trouble. So, uh, that's that anyways, the, 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 the Point is the the one the categories that I like to sell in I'll show you guys right now. So um, there's a lot of different ways of going about this, but the way I I show or the way I do I'll show you right now, which is I like to do uh, I don't like to stay I stay away from all these categories. Beauty and personal care is, is nice. Uh, it's a nice category to click. Books not so good. CDs, vinyls, no camera, photo, um, too many brands, cell phones, accessories. That's incredibly competitive. Stay away from that one if you can. Clothing, shoes, and jewelry. Again, stay away from that one. Computers, accessories, a lot of electronics and stuff like that. I stay away from those. Gourmet and, and uh, grocery, I'm pretty sure that's a gated one. Health and household is an incredible one to be in. Home and kitchen is great. Home improvement. Um, I guess you could do that, but I'm going to stay away from it this time. Uh, industrial scientific, a lot of knickknacks you can find there. A lot of, um, you know, little products that actually, uh, you know, you would probably never hear about. So that's that's great. That's a great uh, one to be in as well. Kitchen dining, you can do uh, musical instruments. No office products is great. Patio lawn and garden. That one's a little bit seasonal, so uh, you might get a lot of seasonal products in there. Uh, pet supplies, very competitive. I stay away from that one. Sports and outdoors, also again kind of seasonal, but um, it's a great it's a great category to sell in. Also, so that's pretty much all I'm going to do for this one because the rest of them are pretty competitive. But when you do get to the filter option, okay, uh, you want to put in prices that. Are I'd say between maybe thirteen, fourteen dollars, and uh, right up to under fifty dollars, just because you want to have products that are 
um, within the price range where you can have a good profit margin, but they're also not so much where where um, you know it's not bec it becomes a non-impulse buy where people need to think about what they're doing because you kind of want to keep your product uh, price in a range where people can can kind of justify impulse buying it. So if the product is like a hundred dollars, maybe people will second guess and second think about about buying the product on the spot. But if you keep it under fifty dollars, I've noticed that you know between thirteen, fourteen, and, and fifty dollars, right? Um, People don't really think about. They just, if they want it, they kind of buy it because of the instant gratification thing that you know our society has going on now. So um, I, I'll put in uh, between thirteen and fifth, and probably thirty-five dollars to today, just to show you guys a little bit from there. But uh, also another thing is, don't just put in. Let's say if you want to do thirteen dollars, don't just put in thirteen or like you know thirty-five, like thirteen to thirty-five price range, because people. People, you know, everyone is doing that, right? So you want to kind of keep, stay one step ahead of the people who are who are also, you know, using Jungle Scout and also doing this kind of stuff to to find products. So you want to maybe if you you know if you put in like thirteen seventy eight, right, to to thirty five eighty thirty five eighty nine or eighty eight. You might find products that other people might not find, right? So you want to keep it with random numbers. You wanna you wanna make sure that you know you're not doing very generic, you know whole numbers you want to definitely add decimals to, to the to the numbers so it, it gives you the opportunity to find more products that maybe other people aren't finding so um that's let's say just let's just do that and see how many how many things we get uh, pulled up here for the net i don't really touch uh the rank we can touch but really again i don't like to touch that either estimated sales we can do let's do up to so our goal is our goal is let's say we said ten thousand dollars right so um, if we want to do, if you want to get ten thousand dollars, let's look for a product that's you know maybe making twenty to thirty thousand dollars. Because if we find a product making twenty to thirty thousand dollars, we can easily come in there, steal some of that market share, and end up making ten thousand dollars easily, right? So so let's just put in let's say twenty six. You want to make them like pretty random numbers because you don't want them to uh, rather you want to find products that people aren't looking for. So I kind of like to do you know. A lot of lot of decimals and stuff like that. So um, minimum, we probably should do a minimum because our minimum is 10k. But let's do around, let's do six thousand something, right? So I just put in some random numbers there. Um, oh, that's estimated sales. Oh, guys, sorry. You got you want to take this and you want to put into estimated revenue. Estimated sales is is something different. So this is the estimated revenue. This is how much we want them to be the product to be making. Estimated sales is how many units the product is actually selling. So. Um, realistically, if you want to make ten thousand dollars a month, uh, I would say you probably want to stick around like f over a minimum of four hundred something. Like let's say four hundred sixty-five. Let's do minimum four hundred sixty-five and see what it comes up with. Reviews again. If it's your first product, you want to keep uh, you know, and you don't really know what you're doing, keep the maximum reviews pretty low. But once you actually start getting you know into the process, you can easily compete with people who have one, two, three hundred reviews without a doubt. You know that's 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 very easy to compete with. But Let's in this case, right? Let's do let's try let's do 10 104 just to see what happens. Um, the rating we're not going to touch right now unless we we do decide that we want to, um, you know, or rather if we're having a you know difficulty finding a product, we might to play with that. But let's see what comes up with right now. The weight, uh, we, we won't touch that. Number of sellers, we won't touch that. Listing quality, we won't touch that. So let's just click on search right here, right? Don't touch anything here. You want to just click standard, right? So make sure standard is checked. You don't really want to venture into oversize because that gets a little bit sketchy. Uh, you know, and you got to do some sea shipping and stuff like that. I think for your first product, it's really important to stay with air shipping. So you don't need to deal with all that uh, sea shipping stuff because it can get complicated. So let's just stick to standard. Um, don't touch the seller. It doesn't really matter. And then I don't really play with these either. Make sure that your results page is at 200 just so you can see more products when you press search. So let's click on search and let's see what happens. Bum, ba, ba, ba. Okay, so... Um, Okay, now we're gonna get into it. So first thing I want to do is I want to click on estimated revenue. I want to put the the revenue, the highest revenue up front. So at the beginning. Okay, so this is an Apple Watch. So there's gonna be the thing is when you do this, you know, it pulls up all the products on Amazon, right? So there's gonna be a lot of things that fit within your criteria that might be branded, might be patented, might be you know clothing or stuff that you're not really looking for. That's kind of miscategorized. So don't worry about that. You really want to just look at the picture and make sure that you can, um, you know, make whatever you're seeing in the picture. So if you can, if it looks like it's something from China, that's really, really good because that means that you can go to Alibaba and source it. So that's what we're looking for is things that we can source from Alibaba. 
So from our search, from our search criteria, we hit about 24,000 products. Okay. That's a lot of products. And realistically, I would go over most of them, you know, step by step if, if, if you want to do it that way, because you're more likely to see products that, that you might be, you know, that you, that people might have missed. Because a lot of people just try to, um, let's say if they see something like this, they'll just be like, oh, you know what? Let's just lower my uh, review. So let's go to 36 reviews, right? And when you click, you know, when you lower your, your you know, you narrow your, your search criteria, you obviously are gonna, you know, get, look, see, so we went from 26,000 to 11,000 results. So obviously you're gonna get a lot less, um, you know, results, but you're gonna start seeing similar products to everyone else. So that's a little difficult, but you know what? Also what we're gonna do, is let's just narrow them for the sake of this video. Uh, let's bring up the price to uh, 1874. Okay, let's see how much that narrows it. So maybe we'll we'll narrow it down to about like three, four thousand products, and then we can uh, we can look from there. You know what? Seven thousand. Uh, that's actually that's actually still a lot of a lot of products. So let's bring the let's bring the revenue up a little bit. Let's go to let's say since ten thousand is our minimum, let's just do ten thousand and see what happens. Okay, so ten ten thousand is our goal. So if ten thousand is our minimum, we can definitely kill it. So let's do six thousand. Is still a lot, guys. Um, let's bring the price up a little bit more and then let's press search. Okay. 4,000. Let's just do it. Okay. Let's just start this. Uh, I might not show every single thing that I'm going to do cause that's going to take a long time, but I will show you guys the general gist of it. So, um, when you're looking through it, you want to find stuff that is again, like it looks like it's, um, you know, private labeled. So it's like from China. So you kind of just go like this quickly scroll over stuff until you find something interesting. Now, you know, stuff like this definitely obviously not, um, from China. There's a lot of clothes. You just kind of go through it really quickly when there's no image available don't even don't even bother with that i don't know what that is so um again a lot a lot of clothes and you know what i noticed with the thing is with sports and outdoors what i really don't like about sports and outdoors is a lot of the clothes are actually categorized in there so sometimes you want to just you know what like i might just take that category out just because it makes stuff so much more complicated um what is this clothes moth trap seven pack with premium i don't know what that is maybe we'll open up and see what's up instant pot steamer you just kind of open up stuff because you know you might you might find things that you never knew were uh, were possible or like you know uh, you never knew existed rather. So um, just keep going and, and you'll eventually find some stuff that you can open up and, and look at on on uh, Amazon. Mark vacuum cleaner stuff, nah. Um, you know it's also very easy to look over stuff when you're doing this, but um, it's nice to, uh, to to sometimes open stuff up. And see and see how good it actually is. So, and I'll show you guys that in in a little bit about how uh, how you can actually see whether the product is is um, private labeled or not. If we keep looking here, let's just do the first page, and then after that, I'll show you. I'll break it down for you guys uh, more with uh, on, on the Amazon. Again, a lot of clothes. I'm seeing again a lot of NFL stuff. I guess because you know it's the it's the um, it's the what's it called the Super Bowl <laughs> coming out. Um, in a little bit now so so i guess there's a lot of nfl stuff being bought which means that they're they're you know the amount of money they're making is increasing so they're kind of showing up here a lot but again i'm seeing a lot of uh oh look it's the electric makeup brush cleaners that we were talking about in another video so um forget about those because those are i decided that i don't you know i didn't want to do those but let's look let's look over here so these are the things i had opened um, this is a moth trap, I think. I don't know if this would be able to be sold or, or either manufactured from China. But you know what? It might just be. So let's take a look at how much this guy's making. So again, remember I was talking about the web app? We were using the web app to open up the, um, you know, to find these products. And then the Jungle Scout Chrome extension, which comes into here. And once you click it, what really happens is it shows you how much money the product is actually making right now. So it kind of verifies the amount of money. And it also shows you, you know, related products and, and different products on the page shows you how much money they're making as well. So once this loads, we'll be able to see. So here we go. You see um, the the moth trap with just the number one spot here, right? So let's see. The moth trap right here is at $24.95, which is this one. It's making $23,500 with 16 reviews guys that is absolutely mind-blowing that is crazy so that's six reviews there's a roach trap see you can also find like stuff that's related a roach trap guys this is very interesting actually this is very very interesting if we can find this in uh to be made in china which it actually looks like there may be possible 
um, let's just open up quickly and, and obviously we're gonna go over you know the sourcing and stuff like that too but when you do find a product you are interested in you want to go into um, Alibaba and you want to type in let's say moth trap moth trap let's see what happens here guys these are these are sold in in uh, these are these come from uh, from China we can really get these from China, guys. I think our product research might have ended quickly this uh, this this time. That looks this looks like an incredible product. This looks like an amazing product. Let's see let's see what happens. Let's just look at the the, the big keyword, which is moth trap. Let's see how that's looking like on Amazon. Now there are definitely some some in here that are are, are very competitive. Like this guy has five thousand eight hundred reviews, so that's pretty crazy. But let's see how much the rest of them are making. So there are a lot of people that are making some decent money here, like. Seven, uh, he doesn't have great reviews, but this guy's making twenty three thousand five hundred dollars with sixteen reviews. That's mind blowing stuff. That's absolutely mind blowing. I mean, it, it does say the opportunity score is kind of a uh, high. I mean, kind of low, which means that it's kind of competitive. So yeah, maybe not so much, but this is a definitely an incredibly cheap product that is being sold for a lot of money, like $25. If you look at the moth trap price, what was it? It was like literally like 50 cents or, or maybe his is a little bit of modification because he has the hook on it. So maybe even if it's a dollar, he's selling it for $24. That's mind blowing. So let's just leave that. We'll, we'll maybe write this down and, uh, and remember it for later. So that one, that, let's cross that one off for now. Uh, maybe we'll come back to it. This one is interesting. Maybe we'll maybe we can do this, but again, this kind of looks too big for what I'm what I'm looking to do. Just because the shipping is gonna looks like the shipping is gonna be expensive, but let's see how much money it's making. Thirty thousand dollars, ten reviews, twenty four. Thing is, these kind of seem to be um, these kind of seem to be um, pant uh, not patented but uh, branded products. But you know what? Let's look at this one. Um, what is this? Stainless steel, stackable pressure cooker. So let's look at that. So see, you can also find related products in there that may be more interesting to you than the actual product that you found. So stackable, stackable, what was it? Pressure cooker pans. Let's see how this looks. Maybe this is gonna be more interesting. Okay, so this is a branded product or rather there's, it's actually not a bad product either. Let's see how much money this this uh, whole niche is making. Twenty four thousand with one review, oh my god! Thirty four thousand with three reviews. Do you see how easy this is, guys? I just found two products that like people are making an absolute killing, an absolute killing on these. Here's another one, an egg steamer. Like these are crazy, guys. These are absolutely crazy. Maybe, maybe this also might not be a bad product to do. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna save these all and, and I'll actually break these down, like you know, to see whether or not it is worth it to do these. But for now, that looks like a great potential product to do as well. Like this stackable, the stackable one. There's not too many reviews. There's obviously one with like almost 500 reviews, which is definitely um, which is, would be definitely the main the main competitor. But he, if we sold it for a little bit cheaper than him, you know, people are willing to, uh, you know, kind of buy your product because yours is cheaper, right? Obviously, clearly, that's how it works, right? But let's let's keep that one in our in our heads and, and let's move on to the next thing. Now, this one I saw this. This kind of looks a little bit seasonal to me, but it depends how much money he's making. Now, this guy has three and a half star reviews with thirty five, uh, three and a half star review with thirty five reviews. So let's see, and he's still making twenty five thousand six hundred. Reviews in like what is the February in February he's making this money. I don't understand. Hmm, this is also very interesting. Like I said, you will find a lot of similar products. You know, um, that's a very interesting similar product, even though it has a hundred reviews. It might still be very nice. So let's look at this also. Let's use the main keyword, okay, to bring it up over here. So. Uh, crackle ball solar lights with spinning glass. Solar light with spinning spinning glass. Let's see if this is it. Okay. 
Okay, so it's the same guy. This is also a great product. I'm very surprised today that we're finding really good products really quickly, actually. This one looks like there's not many people selling this. Looks like there's only one, but maybe you actually can't um, buy these on Alibaba. But let's see. Let's leave that one. Um, this one's pretty interesting as well. Let's open up the jungle set to see how much it's making again. Yeah, 27,000 with 100 reviews. That's crazy. Outdoor solar garden lights. Maybe we look into outdoor solar gar garden lights, guys, because because these are looking like these are looking like a really good, really good uh, product. Outdoor solar garden lights. And you know what is coming up on the season where you know you know the winter is 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 coming to a close soon. So maybe there are some uh, some uh, opportunities here again. I always I approve of seasonal products for the most part. Like they are good to sell. It's just you need to know how to sell them to make money. So this is looking like a very competitive uh, market, actually. Yeah, this is looking very competitive. So maybe we'll think about those, but we might not go go ahead with those. But our next product that we have open here is gel moisturizing spa gloves and socks. Okay. Let's open this up again. It's just mind blowing when you see the. 24,000 with 20 reviews like oh my god these are looking like okay that's very interesting gel moisturizing spa gloves gel moisturizing oh god moisturizing moisturizing whoa okay how easy is that moisturizing Spa gloves. They're kind of cheap, some of them, but I don't know what these are, to be honest. But it looks like they're making a lot of money. Let's open up the jungle scan and double check on that. Yeah. Yeah, they're making a ton. They're making a killing. Okay, let's look at Alibaba real quick. Gel moisturizing. Can't see anything. Uh, spa gloves. Looks like you can buy them from China. Once these pictures load. Yep, these are them. These are very much them. This is also an incredible product. We might look into this one. There's, uh, I mean, there's a decent amount of competition, but very low reviews for some reason. But they, they're making a killing. That's a great product to look at. A little bit low on the price range, but we can kind of bundle it with uh, something, you know, something along these lines. I'm, I'm kind of liking what this, what this guy has. You know, the gloves and the socks. Twenty-two dollars, making like, you know, a lot of killing there. So, this is also. These. FBM. So yeah, definitely a great product to look into. We'll look into that one as well. So for our last product for this video, because I don't want this video to be too drawn out, um, we're going to look into the, um, the, this cellulite cupping thing. Um, let's see how much this is making. I've, I've heard some good stuff about this. Uh, I kind of think I've seen this around before. So this is very nice. I think it's a very cute one because it's, um, it's pink and stuff, so that might might be why it's selling so well as well. Let's just see. Um, let's just go to all departments, right? Let's write sell you light cup set. Sell light cup set. Let's see what's 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 looking here. Okay, so again, there are obviously the competitive ones, the ones that have a lot of reviews, but for the most part, again, it doesn't look like it's a very very hard product to start selling this guy's making forty thousand dollars with 84 reviews oh my god but there's a lot of people who are making no money that's what's scary that's what's the scary part about this there's a lot of people who are making no money and uh that does scare me um so i would probably not go into something like this just because there are a lot of you like look at this guy right what's the difference between this and this it's very, very similar, 
yet one sells forty thousand dollars a month, forty one thousand dollars a month, and one sells eighty four dollars a month. So yeah, no, I would stay away from this just because for some reason there's an external factor that that something is happening here where the the new competition, the new people can't really compete for some reason. So we'll stay away from that one. But uh, I really did like the um, the gel moisturizing gloves, and we did find a couple great products in this video. So we will go over again, you know, all the, all of them, and I will decide with you guys which products we should do and why I decide why I decided to do them. But I think there are some more product research videos to come, just to show you guys that you know you can find a product. And I, I mean, I just found a product pretty like I found a few products pretty quickly on there, um, and you know, you, like it's pretty easy to do it. You just you know need to know exactly how to find the products and what you're looking for exactly. So, uh, in the videos to come, we're actually going to go over uh, more of um, you know different strategies to finding a product. So different things you can do to find the product, and uh, and there are a lot of different methods that you can use. Uh, we'll go over a few of the most popular ones and the ones that I think are the most beneficial. But you know. There are tons of ways of finding products, and and you know I in the future I will make more videos, but for this particular series I think I will show you the ones that I like to use, and then we can uh, you know I can show you guys uh, different product research methods afterwards. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope that you guys did you know uh, follow along and maybe you know will maybe after going watching this video go and try this out for yourselves. Uh, there will be a discount code in the description for Jungle Scout. You can get the Jungle Scout Chrome extension and the web app. Again, the web app you can only you, you can get for only one month and then you know cancel it because you will find a product in one month. That's one hundred percent. So um, just you can buy, buy those in the description. Uh, it is a discount code. So. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that. Maybe some stuff you want me to guys want me to show you guys in the coming videos. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, again, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, guys. A lot of big things coming in the future. A lot of huge moves, um, and I want you guys to be there with me. I want you guys to um, you know see how possible this whole thing really is. So uh, I can't wait to you know keep going with this series and uh, and let me know how you guys are liking it. Leave a comment, let me know you know what I can improve on, maybe if I should slow down or if I should speed up, maybe I'm going too slow. Let me know what you guys think. And anyway soldiers, remember, you're only one product away.